Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and today we're hopping on Angel Legion to go ahead and check out the new Householder feature. Basically, you can interact with your heroes a little more directly as they have their own little house that you can go and visit them in. So I'm going to see what that's all about, whether it's going to add any mechanical benefits to the game, or whether it's just purely cosmetic. As well, guys, if you do enjoy this game, why not give it a download? It's totally free to play, and they support this channel and sponsor today's video. So check out Angel Legion, it's free on your app store, and if you want to get some unique resources to help you in your Angel Legion journey, Journey, go into the description, you'll find a link there that you can click and then enter in the codes in the description along with your account information to get yourself some free rewards on your Angel Legion account. Anyway folks, let's go ahead and get in with today's video. So here we are back on the account. There's a few things we can try and do today. Push up Time Guardian and Arcane Scholar because as you see, they're both five star and could be taken up to the next tier level, which would be pretty good. As well, if I've got food, I could think about taking Mysterious Girl up, but that really depends on how many Maya shards we have. So if we go and check our genes, I really don't have that many. So we're probably gonna have to push the battlefield, I think, if we wanna go ahead and get her higher. So that could be something we do today as well because the new hero we built, right? That time jumper has been absolutely Absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and claim some rewards. Claim our explore here. But before we do anything like we just said, we're going to go ahead and check out this new home feature. So by going in here, we'll be able to interact with our hero and see what's going on. So here we are. There's Maya in her house. And it says goods. So, okay. Oh, wow. So you basically, as you play through campaign, you unlock different things for it. So you can have a bed, you can get a sofa, there's a shower cabin, a tub, a desk. Wait, you can get her out with an entire thing in the spaceship? Okay, that's pretty neat. So you got television, potted plants, treadmill, yoga mat, hair dryer, body, body lotion? Okay. Face mask, hitchhiker's guide to the Sheila Gallic. Okay, that's really funny. Okay, well, there's earphones, a yoga ball, a dumbbell. Oh, so <laughs> Maya goes to the gym. Cool. Hula hoops, guitar, violin, blim and egg, a games console, tel telescope? That's pretty wild. There's a rabbit doll, a bear doll, candle, stationery. Oh my goodness, a pen and ink. It says ink on it. Fantastic. So what, what do I do? Right, have I unlocked them all? Okay, cool. So where are they? Oh, yo, you can move... Hang on. Okay. I can move around here. What's this? Oh, wait. So did this le level her up? Okay. Getting familiar with Maya to have chemistry with her in battle. This is the homework that a grey assigned to me. Okay, so you can have chemistry. Oh, hang on a second. Honestly, isn't it what I've always wanted? But as for Maya's charisma, a glance from her can shut me up. I just can't make it. A grey, what a challenge you gave me. Oh, relax, chatting, huh? Take a deep breath. But how to start the conversation, hmm? Click access control lift. Please come in. Maya seems to be taking a rest right now, dressing leisurely and comfortably, which is totally different from what she looks like on the battlefield. Okay, so I have access to all the spacecraft. Let's go take a look. Okay, so Maya's just hanging out, checking out space. Cool. Right, okay, and... <laughs> this is kind of weird that we could walk around the ship. This is... A pretty ambitious feature, you gotta say that for the game. Pretty crazy. Okay. And I guess this thing up here is gonna charge with affection. That's gonna improve our things. I don't know if it does it improve our experience? I don't think it does it make Maya stronger? Alright, Maya's just chilling in bed. Cool. Weird that I'm here while she's doing that though. Okay, so you can click this memory menu up here to rewatch the scenes, and it seems I've done one memory, which is 2.86% of the progress. So there's going to be probably about 40 of these different memories you can do. So you can level her up pretty high. That's quite interesting. And I don't know what leveling her up will achieve, but that'll be interesting to find out as we keep playing the game further on in the next few weeks. If we go into here, this again is just a kitchen area. I, th I think this is purely cosmetic. Yeah, I don't see there being any mechanical benefit yet. Oh, actually, I can open a door. What does this do? Oh, it takes me back into here. Okay, okay, cool. So it's just a little room with Maya. That's fair enough. And I'm sure there's going to be some interesting campaign stuff. Maybe there's going to be some interesting developments. Who knows? I'm not sure. But it might be interesting. If you want to find out what that story is all about, go ahead. Give the game a download. Totally free to play. Should be interesting. All right. Now, let's level up our heroes. That's what I want to do. I'm after power. So SG and Shards. Let's go ahead and open these. What do we get there? Oh, a Raging Angel. Interesting. So one thing I've done recently since last time. I built a Raging Angel. I had an idea that we could energy feed Time Guardian and we could energy feed Dark Shooter. So basically what I'm thinking about the team being, if we go ahead into the battlefield, I could show you. 
The idea I've had is that Raging Angel feeds energy to Time Guardian, a Dark Shooter, with Arcane Scholar also feeding to Time Guardian, and then Time Jumper doing active skills when opponents are stunned. Raging Angel giving Dark Shooter and Time Guardian more active skills is only going to benefit the team, because that means more enemies get stunned, which means Time Jumper will do more damage, because she will guarantee the crit against stunned opponents. So to me, that's going to be pretty fun. So if we can, leveling up Raging Angel would be amazing. Same with Arcane Scholar. Now, I know we can upgrade Arcane Scholar, I think I just need to go ahead and buy a copy of Swordmaster from the gene pool. So we're going to do that. She's in here now. And if we go to the cabin, we click advance. I'll be able to turn my time jumper copy. I'll be able to turn my arcane scholar copy into an upgraded one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So just put these things in here. Advance. And there we go. SS arcane scholar. All right. So if we go to the menu now and evolve that. That is now a Silver Star Arcane Scholar, which is very nice. So we can upgrade her in the talent tree as well. Currently, we're going with Formation. Eventually, we want to give her Electronic Interference. So we're just going to start with Sniper Synchronization. And then I think we're just going to go with Dodge on Arcane Scholar. So we've upgraded the Dodge. I don't have any more talent points to give to us. So we're just going to go ahead and save this. And then we're going to back out. And now we're going to see if we can upgrade this Raging Angel. Because I, I really like the idea of using her as an energy feed hero. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner it's i mean raging angel's a funny one she's horizontal energy feed as opposed to vertical energy feed so it's normally not that good but i had this free slot in the front line and i was like hmm maybe this is going to be raging angel that could be interesting so yeah let's go ahead and see what progress can be made here so we're going to go stick in this executioner evolve up and if we can we're on for a win if we can get her to at least silver star today so let's go ahead and try so putting these in, do we have any more fodder? I mean, there's a Storm Witch here. I, I worry that we're burning through this too much. What heroes do I need for SS Raging Angel? I think it's Punkatar. I'm going to double check. So if we go to Advance and I click on the Raging Angel copy that I've got sitting around. Yeah, it's Punkatar. Okay, so we might just be able to take her up a little bit. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so Evolve. Put in these. We've got a Shy Girl. Going to go with... Ah, we got some Hell Scythes as well. Of course we do. To evolve them. I got them back actually from destroying my health site. I realized she was Gold Star, so why not just take it down to Silver Star? Because that's all you need for Pandora. So I was like, yep, I'm gonna do that. Now we put in the Storm Witch here. And uh, do we have any fodder heroes left? I don't think so. I mean, well, we got this magic arrow, so I can take that up. And by looking at things now, I'm gonna need three copies of food, and I don't think I have three food heroes left. No, so I could do some summons. We could try and get another S hero. I I'm actually gonna try that. Here we go. We get one. That's all we need. That's another Raging Angel. You know what? I actually want to keep that. We need a fodder S hero. And right now, Raging Angel is not fodder for me. Here we go. Final 10. Swordmaster. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic for Arcane Scholar. That's really good. That's not what I needed, though. And yeah, actually, that's surprising. We didn't actually get a fodder hero. That's. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a thing. Very good. All right, you know what we can do then? Let's try the mining. There's the Country of Wars. It's only midweek, so I haven't got loads of these things. We can go ahead and try just summon something. No, didn't get any S heroes there. We'll try again. No, so it's just B heroes. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take Raging Angel any higher. But what we can do is go and test out this team by heading into the battlefield. So let's put it in and see just how far we can do. And I'll play on auto mode. I'll let you see the team play out. Should be pretty fun. So let's bring it. All right, nice hit there. Time Guardian getting this true triple stun. That means we're going to get so much damage here from Time Jumper. Here we go. Oh, I love this active skill. Look at that damage. Oh, and they stun the back line as well. That's absolutely fantastic. Energy feed coming out there. We do get hit, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. And here we go. Dark Shooter hitting in with the stun. Time Guardian getting the stun as well. And a kill there too. Energy feed in. Oh, brilliant. Dark Shooter and... Time Guardian getting energy fed there. Fantastic. As you can see, they're both on full energy. Arcade Scholar with even more energy feed. There's the snipe. And Ares is going to come in and get the finish. Absolutely fantastic. One really nice thing about this is when we fight boss waves, as you'll see here, there's three opponents. So that's the front line only, right? There's no back line. So we're absolutely going to hopefully stun lock them with this entire team. We've got Time Jumper who stuns. We've got Dark Shooter who stuns. We've got Time Guardian who stuns. It's it's a ridiculous combo. A lot of damage coming out here. Really, really fun. There you go. Dark Shooter with the hit. Beautiful. More stun there. Fabulous. 
Here we go. Let's go. Stun time. Beautiful. And Ares. Ooh, not quite killing. But I don't think it's a matter. We are absolutely stun locking this opponent down. This is brilliant. Now, we do take a massive chunk there. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we should be able to kill them. Time Jumper should get a decent hit here. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, man, we could be in a real bit of trouble here. I'm going to try use a laser beam to help us out. Right, okay. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, we're still in this. Okay, I'm going to laser beam. Probably the Dragon Knight or this one on the end. The one on the end. Oh, she didn't die. Oh, that's scary. Okay. I think we're going to lose to this. No, we're still alive somehow. Okay, laser beam that one on the end. There we go. She's dead. Active skill better stun here. It didn't. Oh, and we died. That was a close fight, though. Let's go ahead and try again. This time, I'm going to bring some actual decent weapons with us. The radioactive bombs to go see if that's going to clutch the difference. So we're going to bring two of these and let's fight. Here we go. Nice. Good stun. I'm going to go back to auto mode. Oh, no stun coming there from Time Guardian. That's terrifying. <sighs> Getting silenced on the Raging Angel. Oh, my goodness me. That's not good. Stun coming out there. Nice. Triple stun. Beautiful job. More stun. Oh, I think we've lost this. Yeah, we can't win. When Maya dies, it's game over. So we need to absolutely stun lock these opponents to get the win. So come on, let's get this. Starting again. Dark Shooter. Stun. Nice. Oh, come on, Time Guardian. One stun. Okay, so we get the silence there from the Dragon Knight. I don't think our Raging Angel has Silence Resist, which is a little bit of a shame. I might need to go ahead and check that in our skills. I may have made an oversight. I might not have even done a talent points, to be fair. Triple stun. Oh, so good. Fantastic there, Time Guardian. It's looking like we're fine here. Ares should get the Execute on at least one of them. Yep. Nice. There's Dark Shooter. Beautiful stun. Even more of a stun. Oh my word. Yep. Here we go. Energy feeds coming out. Oh, we lost so many. Oh, that was horrendous. Oh, it breaks my heart. I don't think we can win this. Oh, wait, the radioactive bomb. It's risky, but it might work. Boom. Woo. Let's go. Secret trick to beating Battlefield to use radioactive bombs. Real nice. That's that boss beaten. And the final thing we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead and check our Raging Angel to make sure that her talent points are done. Ah, they're not! There we go, that taught us something. Silence Resist has not been given to her, which is very, very fair enough. So we're going to go ahead and save that in. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It was good to show you a little bit of what to expect from that little homeowner feature. If you want to go ahead and try out that campaign mode with Maya, where you get to have a little bit more of a personal interaction with her on the downtime, rather than just using her in fights all the time. I think it's an interesting feature to give this game a bit more of a story to it, which stands it out from other idle games, which is pretty fun. So yeah, go ahead, check it out. It's free to download. I'll see you next time, folks. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy idling.